Yep, sounds working. Someone's noticed I've gone live already. <clears throat> there was me thinking I was going to sneak on. Can I make sticks out of bamboo? I can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight will do. <clears throat> and then I can make another one of them. Oh no, somebody's at school. Oh, that's what happens. <clears throat> this is what what happens when you have got time to watch. Stuff happens. I should get, people are going to miss this then. Where should I put my pictures? Hmm. I might have one there, and I might have one there. Uh, let's have a look. What have I got? Uh, let's put that one there. And we'll put that one there. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. <clears throat> That's silky. And this is Brady Cat. I should name them or something, really, shouldn't I? That'd be cool. Quite nice. Right. Levels, 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 levels. I've got loads of levels. <clears throat> and the other thing I want to do is I want to get some more bookshelves upstairs. That's the first thing I'm going to do because it's not 10 o'clock yet, so I'm not technically streaming. <clears throat> and my voice is breaking already. Now, there was loads of leather down in the iron farm. So let's go and get some of that. And I'll cook a stack of that up and get some leather. And we've got sugar cane, we can make books or paper. And I might have to do a bit of tree farming. Get some wood. That'd be a good idea. Need to sort this out at some point. This is such a mess. I've noticed it's very quiet. So used to having the music on. Might have to put the music on. Should we get the music on? Let's where's the music? Oh, this is gonna come through really loud to start with. I guarantee that. Um <laughs> Oh no, Halo's just seen what I posted on Discord. Uh, I might be in trouble. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. What have I got? Um, Alright, don't need that, don't need that. Um. <laughs> Oh dear, that's funny. Oh, there we go, got some music now. Right, so let's grab a stack of this. Actually, I'm going to take a couple of buckets because I seem to be short on lava and water here. I'm not happy about because I've normally got an excess amount. I really need some lava there as well. Oh, don't start clicking stuff with that in my hand. I'm in trouble. Right, is there anything else over here I could use? Could be useful for me. <clears throat> Just before I'll go wandering back.
Right, let's go and have a look. Yeah, I got the lever. Right, this iron farm's not working very well, so that's the thing I want to like work on today. I want to get a new one built. Because that's been... Just a little bit disappointed it stopped working, so I need to build one that's in a better place, I guess. Oh no, it's dark. Oh no, that's trouble. I want a nice, quiet, relaxed stream this morning. Just chill out. No hassle, no dramas, just do some nice, quiet, relaxed building stuff. <coughs> if anyone comes in, says hello. That's fine. Don't mind. I said... Did I say something about being a nice, quiet, relaxed stream? And then there's like... How many zombies? Where did you all come from? Goodness gracious me. Come on, back off. Oh, we've got more lever out of that anyway. I'd just get in the water. Oh, it's a bit late for the water that was, wasn't it? It's truth. It's like proper mauled to death. It's not good. Um, right, so oh no, look, there's a creeper over there now. Let's try this new crossbow thing. Let's see if that's any good on right. Load. Right, let's see if this is any good on creepers. Right, if he likes to get on a flat level. Oh! Well, it, it sort of worked. Can I, like, take him out with... How many shots does this need? More than one. Definitely more than two. Come on in. Yeah. It was alright. Need a supply of arrows though. Right, let's go and get this lever sorted out. I really should be sleeping more often. It's my own fault really. Just nice, quiet, and chilled. And so, as I said, I want to get the iron farm sorted out this morning. What was I in here for? Right, this stuff is still processing all my glass. Although, I'm not really sure I need any more glass at the moment. Um... Let's do it this way. Actually, why did I do it like that? I didn't want to do it like that at all, really, did I? Because I actually, what I really want to do is just change it in there. Yeah, because that prioritises it. Then we can get the lever processing. Right, so we let that get going. And got some junk armor now. I'm just gonna chuck that in there and we'll get some nuggets out of it. Now, have I got any books at the moment? Don't think I've got any books at the moment that are available. A bit low on wood. Then what do you do with some wood? And a sugar cane. Got loads of bamboo. Ah, oh, got sugar cane there. get a load of paper made 36 660 six, 36 should be enough to make me enough books upstairs I think I don't need that many let's go and have a look how many more bookcases we actually need I've been up here for ages so how many we've we got oh, I was gonna put some up there 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more bookcases. <clears throat> so six bookcases, that's three times six books, which is 12, 18 books. And then three lots of 18, that's 30, well if it was 40, that'd be 80. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a, a lot more sugar cane. Let's have a look, see if this has been producing much. 42, that's nice. That'll do. It's not the most efficient, busy farm down there, but it is racking it up. How much more paper have I got? 60, 70, 80, 90. That should be just enough, I reckon. Got some glass there, I don't need in my inventory. Right, let's take these books. Uh, let's lever and get some books. That's 14 books. And wood is the next thing I wanted, wasn't it? And I decided there wasn't enough. So we're going to go do some, some tree chopping. Sun is high in the sky at the moment. It's all right. Now let's have a look. Because the acacia trees I want to be using, I don't really want to wreck them for bookcases and things. It seems such a waste. No real books in there. Wood in there, shall we? So I'm going to leave this little farm here. I'm going to come cut these down. And I'm going to continue to... I might actually build a pathway out here more. Because we've got that... The farm underground. And I think we're going to need a pathway so these guys can get to it. There's technically a, another village over in that direction. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut this stuff down and just make some space for it. And we'll just like do a load of wood chopping and see what we can get done today. I'm like one of those streamers that you flick around and you're looking at and they're going, oh, they've got no views. And you're going, well, I wonder why they've got no views. And it's because they're not talking. It's like, come on, interact, say something. Because if you don't talk, you're not going to get any followers. Because it could be people popping by, they're just watching in stream, they're just like waiting. You got like that five, 10 seconds when somebody comes in and they're gonna go, am I gonna stay and watch this person or not? And listening to someone rabbit into themselves or even not talking at all, and all they're doing is cutting down trees. It's like, well, what is going on? But you know, even the most famous YouTubers and Twitch people, you know, just sit and cut trees down because, you know, it's got to be done. Someone's got to cut the trees down. I always like the idea of like, being a grinder on like a big channel. I thought, I wonder if there's a place for that sort of person because, you know, a lot of YouTubers and stuff have so much to do. And it's like, well, I wonder whether there'd be It'd be useful if they had somebody who would go on the server and do all the grindy stuff. Like the big builds. Because you see that in things like patron servers where loads of people go on and do stuff. There's loads of background grindy stuff going on. Right, that got quite a bit of wood. That's not too bad. That might clear that little area out some pathways what I get a uh, stack in a bit that's all right I need to do some trading with those uh, 
villagers again, get some um, more carrots. Right, um, bookcases. I was breeding the bees up in there as well. Getting dark, so it's probably about the right time to come in here and do this. Uh, bookcases, how many can I get? Three? Well, that's not many, is it? Well, it's three more than I had. One. Two, three. Talk to It's a bit dark in here. Uh, let's have a torch there and we'll put some there. So I've just got to put them along. One, two, three more along there. That'll do. That'll get us like super enchants. I don't think Halo can uh, chat to me in chat today because uh, she's working, so it's not so easy. Oh, I've got more with that. Right, let's just sort out some of my inventory here. What have I got? Um, the sand, well, the sand should be up here, out of my inventory. Uh, we can put some more coal in there. That's charcoal. That's no use to me. That's trees. Don't want that. The vines I want to keep hold of. Oh yeah, there was that bit of gold over here, wasn't there? Probably really wasteful putting it in there like that. Stone bricks. Oh, okay. Right. Um, how many more bookcases can I get out of that? One. Oh, because I've run out of books. Oh, I see. Better go and sleep. Stop the creepies coming up, coming around. I'm getting messages as well, so I'm just like chatting away in the background here. Um, I probably don't need all that wood, but I'll have a look. Wow, that's a lot of leather. Um, how many more books can I make? I'm going to need a good, good quantity of books. One, two, three. I think that's all I need. That's better. Should be able to get a lot more levels now. Um, oh, there's some books in there. I didn't even notice that. Right, so we've got them. So I'm going to use this to do lots of books and stuff. I can disenchant up there. I could do with an anvil. Because I want to be able to like combine things. Stick the anvil in the corner, right? So, lapis. Have I got plenty of lapis? I've got 51 lapis in here, so I want to like make a ton more books down here because I want to get some high end books. That's my key. Um, is that all the books I can make? Have I run out of sugar cane? I have. Oh, okay, right. I'll keep that in there. And I have a spare bookcase for some reason. I don't know why. So, it well, no one's listening in chat, but I'm planning on doing this. It looks like 
me and Halo have agreed we're going to do a stream tomorrow. Should be pretty cool. Um, but it'll be a, probably a bit of a random time. We've got to like organize stuff and things. Just sorting my inventory out here a bit. So I've got some sticks, I've got some wood. Right, so I'm actually going to put... Oh, look, there's a load of sticks in here. Put some sticks and wood in here. And what have I got on? Well, that's not very good, is it? Because none of that's enchanted. The boots are not enchanted. Right, so have I got any more... Any diamonds in there? No. So let's have a look for some materials. Let's see what we got. Ten diamonds. I could make some boots and some bits. We'll take that with us. Gold I don't need. Um, yeah. And I can always make some rubbish weapons and stuff up here if I need to. I've got ten diamonds. So I want some... I want... I suppose if I'm going to go with the whole diamond outfit got a diamond sword there, that could be quite nice. So let's just make the hat and a pair of boots. That's not a pair of boots, that's a pair of boots. <coughs> and I'm not going to make a diamond shovel, but I will make a diamond hoe at some point. I know that sounds really bizarre, but that's a thing. Right, so we'll have the books. And we've got a stone sword and a shovel. Let's just put some of these things out of my inventory, then I've got space to move stuff around. Um, we'll take the bow, and we'll take the shovel, and we'll take... We'll just take these bits, because there could be things we can just throw enchantments on. I'm trying to use the books. I've got everything I want. I have. Worth me, I think I might use that diamond just to repair my chest plate to start with. Might do it in the right thing. It's already cost me one repair now, which is probably not the best thing to do. But I'll give it a go. Right. A book. What can we get? Aqua Infinity. That's fairly rare. Loyalty Feather Falling. Hmm. That definitely looks good. I mean, while I've got 30 levels, I should probably go for the high quality ones. <coughs> However, I will just see what I can get on a diamond sword. Looting 3. That's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Protection 4. Fire protection four. Protection four on the boots. Unbreaking three. I quite like the protection four on the chest plate. It gives me a single level bit of protection on there to start with. So what can we get next? Uh, depth strider. Not the most exciting. Aqua Infinity on the helmet. That would be better than putting it on the book and then having to pay to get it done. Uh, what can go on the sword? Knockback. Definitely don't want knockback. Anything else we can get? Nope. So definitely looks like Aqua Affinity. And Protection 4. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Quite like that. Boots. Protection free, not the best in the world. Protection free, no. What can we get on the sword? Smite four. That that would be pretty good for like killing the zombies and stuff. That's normally a pretty good, pretty good thing to have. Is there anything I can get on the bow? I've already got power free. Just gonna get normal enchants on these, aren't I? Yeah, unbreakings and stuff. So, smite four. 
fortune two. Do I have a fortune two pickaxe? Hmm, it could be good for like ores and stuff, or do I just want a really good? I'm going to go with the sword. Gives me a really good sword, that does. So what have we got? Boots. I'm breaking on boots. This is really very exciting, is it? Blast protection. <clears throat> now that could actually be quite good. Quite like that. There anything else? Blast protection four on there. And can we get? Let's just check out the others. Power three. Knock back. Efficiency. No, not really. So I can get blast. Where is it? Was it on my leggings? Blast protection on my leggings. So that gives me protection for there and blast protection for there. Or protection for on my helmet. Just got the boots we want to try and upgrade. Which is currently coming back as unbreaking. Lure. Lure could be quite good with the whole fishing thing. Ooh, what can we get on that? Piercing four. Ooh, should we go with that? I think we will. And I'm breaking. Oh, that's quite nice. Boots. Trying to get these boots. Fire protection for. Now that's quite nice. So I've got a, quite a range there then. Stuff on there. And depth strike. Ah, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Could do with feather falling on there as well. Punch two. Power two. Right. Okay. That's very bow related. Um. Power three. So is that all of the, that's them on there. Breaking power. That's a power three. Can I get a power three? I can get unbreaking. Bane of alpha pods. That's for like spiders and stuff, isn't it? But on a stone sword, that's pretty useless. Fortune three. Get fortune three on there. So I've got fortune uh, fortune two. Fortune three would be nice. Can't really see anything on there. I could have put punch on which is just to just go for a power and then like try and work on a I could try on a power levering up a bow a bit later on. Right. Another smite and a piercing two. So we've got piercing four on there. Feather falling one. Gotta be able to get better feather falling than that at some point. <coughs> what can we get on a bow? Punch, 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 power. Sword, knock back. No. I'm breaking. That was knock back. Hmm. Not much there. Unless I make a pair of boots. Could make a spare pair of boots here. And, but I can't combine them with that. So I can't get the enchantment off onto these, so that would be of no use to me. No. So I think it might smite four there. Can I get smite five? I don't know if I can combine these to get smite five. I can. It's quite an expensive upgrade, but that's quite a Quite a doozy sword now. Power two. Right, what can we get now? So we're into the efficiencies and protections now, probably. 
Sweeping H. It's a shame I can't get that on a book. Um, the bow, flame bow. Flame bow? <clears throat> a fl I think I might have that. Because I quite like having a flame bow occasionally. It could be quite useful. Now we're a bit low on the levels now. So this is where we start to need going... Well, actually we need something completely different. Get fortune over there. That's got fortune on it, so I might make an iron. Where's the sticks? Let's make a, a pickaxe. And put that on it. Fortune 1 and efficiency. Oh, that's not bad. Efficiency 2, efficiency 3. Efficiency four. That'd be efficiency 4. Oh, okay. Smite 2, aqua affinity. Can't get better than that, really. What could we get on another pickaxe? I'm breaking. I haven't been able to get a silk touch yet. <clears throat> so can I combine these two? What does that give me? 17, 15. Efficiency 4, Fortune 2. <clears throat> it's not bad. At least to get more drops from it. Piercing Smite and Aqua Affinity. Unbreaking. We haven't got any unbreaking stuff yet. That's all the same. Really like a. I might just do some like really low level. Aqua affinity is not going to get. These are not going to give me anything. That's like proper junk. Proper proper junk. Have a, let's have an unbreaking on a pickaxe, on a shovel. Protect protection one. That's rubbish. Sharpness one. No. Efficiency two. <clears throat> hmm. Really running out of good enchants here. Protection one. We'll take that. Just to like get these through. Feather falling. It's the only time I'm going to get it. So if I don't do it now, I'm not going to get it. Realistically. Loyalty, blast, sweeping edge. Not the most exciting. Got I'm breaking one on it. Hmm. What do I get? I'm breaking or efficiency. Shovels can be a bit of a pain. They're not really the most exciting thing to work on. I'm breaking two. What have I already got? I haven't got unbreaking on that, so if we... Let's have another, let's have another pickaxe. Oh, that's got efficient. Ah, oh, I can't get the unbreaking because I haven't got enough levels. I have a plan though. Down here... Furnace is running. So let's just lock that off. Don't know if. Yay! Look at that. Go. Okay. Some more levels out of that. Right. What was I after that? I'm breaking two. Uh, 
radius 11, 19, 11. I need another level and then I can combine them two together. Right, let's put these books away because don't need those. I'm going to put that iron in there for now. <clears throat> this is all junk material. I'm breaking two. I want to come back and combine that with that. An unbreaking shovel and a flame bow. I wonder if I can. I don't know, because everything you shoot catches on fire, so I've got to keep that there for now. Wooden pickaxe can go up there. My armour I can put on. Not them. Them. Thank you. The boots we'll leave up there. <coughs> so we've got uh, the lapis in there. So what have we got? Piercing four. I'm breaking three. Not bad. Power three, but we've got no arrows. Got a shovel. Let's make some more shears while we're here. Um, this has got unbreaking on it. This is probably coming, becoming it. Yeah, that's way too expensive to repair. <coughs> So I'll make a new one to have. That needs a bit of repair on it, but we're going to swap that out for that one. It's got efficiency for fortune two. The smite, the smite two sword. We can probably get a couple of um, bits of XP off it. In fact, I could do that with these and see if I can recover that XP. <coughs> Gives me 11 levels. So again. Can I combine them two now? We're getting the right way around. There we go. Efficiency 4, Fortune 2, I'm breaking 2. It's quite good. That's just an efficiency one, which will keep for doing. What do we call it? Uh, obsidian. Got a new pickaxe on the way. Can I fix pickaxes with pickaxes? I can, but it's too expensive. The axe. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. Arrows could do with arrows. Right. Where's the stuff I was bringing with me? I want them, and I want them, and I want the poppies. I'm going to leave that little bit of iron. <coughs> Sorted. Right. Probably where I'm going to go outside and find there's loads of creepers out there now. I've been wandering, playing around in here for a bit. None outside my door anyway. Can we see any? Looking safe. I'm going to go check down here because. Just check the perimeter. Make sure no one's snuck in while I wasn't looking. We're looking, we're looking okay. Creeper hole's getting bigger. How's the bee farm doing? Eight more bottles, look at that. Getting all the honey now. Put the bottles back in there. Still need a load more bottles to actually make. I think the bees are happy in there. They must be, they haven't disappeared. Cool, right. <coughs> I don't know why you're trying to get in there like that. That's just weird. Pop, pop. The bees are happy. You, dude, you're stuck. Go up. One. Go, go over the top. Can I get you in? 
Did that work? I think I got the bee back in. I think I rescued the bee. Can't be sure. Don't know where the other one went. Okay, right. Oh, you're up there. Okay, you're flying around. Right, iron farm. Now, I don't know whether to build the iron farm up here on top of this hill. Primarily because if I'm up here like this, there's less surface area for the iron golems to try and spawn on this lower area. So I can sort of build a bit of a tower up. And it probably also means that there's probably not as many like mines and hills underneath here. But I think that's worth having a look at. I think we need to have a look. So we're going to allow my second account to come in I can find the mouse but it's gone on the screen and we'll have a look at what's underground where we can do the building but a bit of survey work bit of surveying <coughs> see what there is be nice to get a proper iron farm working, a bit more reliable. That one seems to have come to a standstill now. The ones I've been working or been looking at have got three villages in them. I think it might be a little bit better. So I am opening my other account, which you can't see because it's off screen. Which is slightly frustrating. Right, so I'm just going to, like, push over here. Where's my player? So my player's up here on the top of this hill. Let's just have a look under the ground at what's underneath him. So there is a cave section, but it's not that bad. I think ideally... You probably need to build something that goes up into the air because there's quite a bit of caves underneath this section here that probably would not be great so that's what we're gonna do so I'll just disconnect this account drop that off there there we go right so yeah, there's like caves down in that direction under the ground, which is not great. And there's a, our original iron farms over there, but I don't think it's working because we're too far away from it. We're going to need to do a lot more closer work over here. So I think it would be ideal to build our iron farm just like maybe like four or five blocks up on top of the hill. <clears throat> so if we clear these trees off the top here first which means that if we're going to build it up on the surface here it's also going to have to look nice could be a challenge how are we going to make an iron farm look pretty right let's lose these trees that are connected together. There we go. They're not grouped together there. And we'll get rid of this one here. Which is quite nicely positioned because it sort of looks down over that farm there. Right, so that lot will all despawn, and this is probably a big enough area here to work on. Right, so let's just encourage these leaves to get, go away. <coughs> we'll have to use some mine carts to get some villages up here. Hello, 
you, Salad Panda? How the devil are you? Very nice to see you. I'm working on a upgraded iron farm. As the one that I currently have is not working very well. Well, basically it seems to have stopped working. But I've been fiddling with it too much. So I decided I want one near technically where spawn's going to be. So I wanted to go with not salad potato today. No, I've been practicing. I've been trying not to say your name wrong. It's funny, I actually thought of you earlier and I'm thinking I mustn't say salad potato. It's because I keep thinking of potato salad. Which I just, I'm good, thanks. Uh, my day off, so taking it easy. How are you? Similar sort of thing, really. Just to like want a nice, quiet, relaxed stream. Just feeling a little bit sleepy this morning and just want to like plod about a bit. So I, um, I checked the bee farm. Seems to be making plenty of honey. Uh, I've got about four blocks of honey blocks in there now. Uh, it's okay, it's just name. Yeah, but it's your name. It's got to be important. And I've done my gear up. Look, so I've got some so, some Aqua Affinity uh, hat and Protection 4. Protection 4. Blast Protection 4. And then Fire Protection on my boots. Death Stride out and a bit of fall damage. And then I've done up this pickaxe a bit as well. So we've got Efficiency 4, Fortune 2, I'm Breaking 2. It's about the best I could get. Managed to get piercing on this. Is this a mod pack or just resource pack? Um, no, there's no mod pack running. All I'm using is a resource pack for <coughs> textures and bits and pieces. And variety of blocks like stone, etc. But I'm also using uh, Vanilla Tweaks data pack, which is in here as well. I mean, I've also got a round sun and a moon in this as well. Um, my Optifine sky would be there with proper clouds, but Optifine's not released for 115 yet. But yeah, in the achievements here, you can see I've actually got these additional data packs like multi sleep. Villager death messages, redstone wrenches, little bits and pieces like that. And they're designed to be subtle changes to the game that just enhance the experience rather than giving you OP mods of such. And some of them are also a bit administrative as well. There's things like spawn spears. So one of the things I did right before 10 o'clock, look, we've got some pictures up. So these are actually maps. This is a, a tool that I downloaded, which allows you to convert pictures into locked maps. So this picture was supplied by uh, Silky. And this picture was supplied by Radicats. So any subscribers that sub give me a picture, I'm going to be putting up in the world. Don't know much of the technical stuff with Minecraft. That's okay. It's um, it's not a difficult thing to do. Luckily, it's uh, a just a you download the zip files and you put them in a subfolder next to your Minecraft save, and they just work. <coughs> um, just trying to think if I've got any examples that are easy to show because I'm um, just looking at the textures. But yeah, so if, there's little things like when you have slabs, I can build them using, um, I can use slabs to go back to wood, or I can smelt 
leather or rotten flesh into leather. And they're just little things like that that you go, oh, it's a real pain to do. It's like you get more trapdoors or more steps. It's more realistic on the level of wood that you'd get. So if you see anything that looks a bit weird, just ask. I'm planning on doing, I think in one of my early streams, I actually talked about the date packs. If you have a look on my second channel, that's monpjc-2, T-W-O, then there'll be one of the early ones called data packs where I talk about them a little bit more. Uh, feel free to have a little skim through that. Hello, sheep. We're going to build an iron farm up here, so I don't know what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Could you move, please? Go on, off, off the hill. Off you go. Uh, one would go there. Is that... It's all right there. I don't like them on the edge like that. They look like they're just sitting on dirt and it'd collapse. So I said I was going to go up about two or three blocks. I might actually go further than that. So the way data packs work is, or the way Minecraft works using data packs is that it uses this ability to add files onto itself. Let's just build a little platform up here. Oh. There we go. So we're going to build the logs up to that height. Yeah, so the, it just merges the packs on. You might have heard that of things like JSON files, which basically contain the information on what the game's going to do. So, for example, a, a loot table for a chest might contain the rules or in a script readable format that explain how stuff goes together and what you would find what the chances are of different materials coming out better give this a bit of structure because it's going to be an iron farm after all could actually make this a centre column where the iron columns fall down. So by adding those JSON files or tweaking the contents of them, you can change <coughs> what the results are, of what comes out. Right, so let's just make this say sturdy. And then we're going to want an area where the iron golems are going to spawn and an area where we're going to put the villagers. So if I make... If I make the platform out here where the iron golems are going to spawn and then put the villagers over here, the iron golems can drop down and underneath. If you could add three things to, the, to vanilla, what would you add? Ooh. Interesting. I don't think there's any ores or materials, I would add, or items as such. Um, <clears throat> I think my first one would be add consistency to the blocks of what you can get. So... Yeah, like you've like you've just put in chat, you've said vertical slabs and and things like I think I said last night, glass steps or glass slabs and that sort of thing. So everything we and like grass slabs. 
would be nice. Or grass. I don't know about grass steps, but grass slabs would be nice. That might make a bit of a, a texture change. You can make the landscape a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I think consistency across the blocks. That would be my first one. Second one you've touched on there, villagers. I'd, I'd love it if villagers had more intelligence, I think, in the way they work together. So that you could have villagers that do things like mining, or you could give them things like they breed cows or sheep and pigs. If you've seen the... If you've seen Tango Tech, he did an update on a similar idea where he created a mod pack which would allow you to do that. Yeah, task orientated jobs. Yeah, that would make sense. So they've actually got something that's going to. Why can't I get down this thing? Hello? There we go. Yeah, they need to be able to like perform actual jobs in a village. I think it would also be nice if we had guards as well. Even if they could just do things like, you know, fire bows and arrows or something like that. So they could like try and fend themselves off from the pillagers. That would be quite useful as well. And then, a th yeah, because I think stuff like that means that you can actually not have to worry about AFKing so much. I mean, you could set a villager up that's like killing mobs all the time. It's almost like what you can do with rats in the rat mod. Oh, I don't know about that. So that would be my second one, better villagers. Thirdly, I think it would be, I mean, I know people like Exuma have talked about um, assign things to do from a whitelist, like take X ores and move them to a furnace. Yeah, that'd be really good. If you could put something, you could do something like put them in a book. You could write the instructions in a book, maybe. Or you could get, if you had a more detailed GUI, I guess. Yes, yeah, so they're like little helpers. I mean, this is a village. I mean, I'm building this village, but I'm the only one working here. I mean, they're, they're growing carrots. I mean, where's the carrots being used to feed the pigs and the pigs bread for meat for me and stuff like that? I still have to go and do my own feeding and everything. Which is like, seems a bit unfair. Um, The third one, I think, is probably... I mean, inventory would be nice. But I actually think, I think transportation. I would like working minecarts. I would like minecarts where you can have them powered or you can chain them together. I mean, we have a powered minecart now. You can put uh, coal in, but it would be useful if it actually properly drove other carts and went around the tracks and that. I mean, we, we call this Minecraft and we talk about all the mining and moving and materials and how many times do you see minecarts really being used? We see great big mechanisms where there's water channels transporting items. We just need not just redstone to power the minecarts. We want to be able to send them over long distances. So I think that would be really good. I'd like to see proper minecarts. I mean, I know there's mods like um, Railcraft, but I'd like to see, like, like I'd definitely like to see minecarts so you can connect them together. Yep, yep, link the furnace cart to chest carts. That makes sense. And then you could have hopper ones and they could drive round and you could, like, have a hopper that drops coal into the, the furnace cart every time it goes past, rather than using redstone. I think it just, because I like this steampunk idea, I think it'd just be a bit more effective the way it sits in with that. Uh, right, I've got some stone here, so I was going to go and make 
a stone slab floor up there. Get started. A little tower on the hill here. Yeah, that'd be definitely the three things I would look to do. I've got to ask you the same question now. So, what three things would you like to see in the game? So, this little area here is going to be the hole where the iron golems are going to drop down, by the way. And we're going to make a stone platform out the back here. But first of all, I guess... Probably going to need some pillars to hold it up. If only I could get down this damn thing. I'm just going to break that out. There we go. We'll get stuck on the edge of them a bit. So if we bring one out about there, one out about there. I don't think I can. Oh, I can reach that one. The vertical slabs. Oh, a few more biomes. Yeah, that could be quite cool. We're going to come out to there, 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 and then drop down here. One, two, three. I did about three up from the one. One, two, three. I might put it there. It's got just a little bit of variation in height, but just like gives it that solid look. There's no point having stone up there if it can't hold it. Going to need more trees. I'm always needing more trees. Uh, biomes of plenty offer a great degree smarter villagers. Oh, okay. Yep, that would be your free. I'm liking them. I think we will see changes to the game over time. And I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with the integration of more mobs that they bring in like with the piglins that they're doing I'm interested to see how they go with that what direction they want to go yeah the never update seems quite interesting I mean that there's an, certainly an indication with the never update that we're gonna see biome changes the way the game does biomes so one eight back from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I nearly went walking straight off the edge there. It'd definitely be interesting to see what they do with the never update. Never needs an update, especially the never biomes. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I totally agree with that. I think the big problem they've had with the never so far is the fact that I think, like a lot of people have said, it's just not very... What do people go there for? I mean, do I need to go to the never? I go there to get blaze rods and for making potions and never wart but once i've got never wart i can just make as much never wart as i want so blaze rods are the only thing i really need to go and get a lot of 
then you've got um, maybe river skulls might be of use and then we might be looking at things like um, quartz yeah skulls rods I think that's probably about it it's, that's the problem it's, it just seems like there's not a massive amount of materials that you really need So it makes it difficult to get anything else there. I mean, it'd be nice if... I guess some people would get upset if Neverwall only grew in the Never. But you can sort of see that if there were things you could only get from certain biomes, that would certainly encourage players to work in a particular way. Uh, I might take two stacks of glass. Two stacks, I said. The risk and the reward isn't great. You can die for... Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, gold farms, but then... You can bring... You can bring uh, pigmen into... Through the uh, portal. Which is always a way of doing it. So I've got a bit of a spawn platform here for our iron golems to appear on. So what I'm going to do is surround it with glass because obviously they won't spawn on the glass. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Holding down shift click so I don't fall off. And I could have used fences, I guess. Yeah, it's just not the I think like you say, it's just the, the reward and the risk element's not there. It's a bit like the end as well, isn't it? You gotta sort of ask yourself, why do you go to the end? I mean, it's really the only choice there is Elytras. I mean, what does the what does the dragon egg actually give you, other than it's a it's a way of saying I beat the dragon. I mean, if it could like give you special powers, I mean, you can get dragon breath. That's true. So that's, that's useful from that point of view. My glass is so transparent, I can't see where I've left any gaps. I'm just looking for the very faint black lines to make sure... Oh! That went in the wrong place, definitely. And if you can hear any banging outside, that's my binman have finally turned up after Christmas. Well, I've been waiting forever for them to turn up to take this rubbish away. It's like, dudes, I've got so much rubbish. Please take my rubbish away. So I'm hoping if I put water there and water there, I can like get it to flow into a central stream into the middle here. And then, not sure, I might have to put blocks around the outside of that. We'll see what happens. So that's going to be where they're going to spawn. So above this is where I want to put the villagers. So I could actually do it in this way. I could actually build this up like so. Because our iron golems are three tall. And we could put a platform up there. Sorry, went for a drink. If you said something to me, I didn't answer. Uh, that's all right, don't worry. I don't think I asked anything. I'm normally talking to myself. And actually, I like that idea of getting a drink. 
We've been streaming for an hour and ten minutes now. So I am going to send my player to sleep. And I'm going to put the kettle on, but I'm going to leave the mic on so you can hear me. Ooh, uh, ee. Don't try to walk away with your headphones attached. At least put the kettle on. I also talk to myself, my excuse for it is that I need expert advice. Oh, I see you're asking yourself and you're an expert. I'm a bit slow at getting things sometimes. Why are there never any biscuits in this house? Just gonna have to steal a biscuit out of the biscuit tin. Halo will be telling me off and nicking biscuits. But I don't care because, you know, it's only like I have one or two biscuits at a time. I mean, a day, not at a time. Make it sound like I eat loads of biscuits. Don't oh, kettle. Why the kettles take so long to boil? They're so slow. wash up before um, Halo comes over as well. Cookies. Oh yeah, cookies. I like cookies. Problem is I like too much food. Right. So you gave me the idea of having a coffee. Just contemplating what I want. I think I'm on more trees. So I'm gonna go over here and cut down some more of these trees that are, yeah, cause it's gonna be like a pathway over here. Mass tree felling has started. need more logs because that'd be good villagers like you know if you could like mark the tree that they're supposed to cut down oh I can see I can see something's happening in chat can't me eh. I want to work out how people manage to like read what's in chat and carry on playing at the same time. Um, my grandma was the best cook. She was at the Royal Culture School. Oh, okay. Um, she was English and grandfather was German. Could work in chunks. With... Oh yeah, that. I'll reassign chunks for the villagers. I thought you were talking about chunks in the in the in the cookies then. <laughs> you look wrong standing on a block of earth, so you're coming down. Plus I need more wood. Yeah, you could get them working in chunk chunk bound chunk boundaries. Chunk boundaries. Or you could just like circle an area like markers down or banners they only cut down trees within range of a banner that could be quite good 
banners are like fairly easy to make. And you could like put something on the banner which indicates what you want them to cut down. Or what they're doing in the area. Right, so let's pop up here. And then, yeah, because these, um, the iron golems are free high, so they'll be able to get under there. So I'll be able to put, I need another one, don't I? So that the wood will run across there and they've got room to get underneath. Although I might put slabs on this side. So that they, the hit boxes don't catch the top edge. To make it challenging, you would need to supply them with tools like lumberjack, villager, and obviously needs an axe. There may be a ladder if they can't climb tall trees. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, definitely. I definitely liking the ideas. Have you actually seen uh, Tango Tech's mod pack that he actually did? He did some awesome stuff. You've never seen it? Well, you should definitely check it up. It's like his whole um, how to make villagers better sort of thing. Right, so this is going to be my spawn platform for... for the villagers. Tango Tech, yep, Tango Tech. I'm wondering if it's a bit, I don't think it's too high. I'm pretty certain that if they're at that level, they'll be able to spawn the golems down here behind. Hmm. Don't wanna to have to make this lower, that's the problem. Although I think I'm going to right from the beginning because I don't wanna end up Risking having built all of this and then find it doesn't work. Oops! It'll do my Swede in if it doesn't work. Probably dropping loads of bits down the hole now. Go down there and get them in a second. I think I got everything off of there. Let's get these off the floor. Probably be on for a while, so I could do some lunch. Be back in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm probably going to be on for a little bit longer. Quite a bit longer. Go do your do do what you need. As I said, it's just a chilled stream, having fun, no rushing. Just want to like enjoy myself today. Okay, so if I leave a gap there, they'll actually be able to fall in there and I'll be able to put the slabs in here. Or should I put it on, I'll put it on top. Yep, no worries. So they can't spawn on slabs. So if I put slabs around the outside, that's a definite. And then we need some positions in here for the villagers. Like so. So they're going to go in this area here. So I want a bed there. A bed there and a bed there. So these are going to come out. Like so. Of course I keep forgetting it's different times in different countries. So I need three beds. 
three different workstations. I need to get them up here. Let's go and have a look, see what we got. So, wall. First thing we need. So we need three, six, nine bits of wool. Hello, sheep. Give me all your wool. Nobody's spare. 13, thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Move out the way, move out the way, move out the way. Back. Saw that, tried to get out. So we have some different color beds as well. Let's have a, a blue one, a red one. No, don't follow me with that. Go back in your nest. Just goes to sleep holding a bucket of water. It's not a good, not a bad thing to do at all, is it? beds a blue bed a classic red bed have I got any color have I got any green or could I have brown Red, blue, and brown. And three workstations. So we could have. Let's have a think. Uh, a loom? How did we do a loom? What am I missing for the loom? String. Can I. So let's get some string and a loom like so get rid of that bit of dirt a stone cutty thing where's the it's not a stone cutty thing is it what's it what's, what are you called you're called a grindstone Why is there no grind? Why is there no grindstone? I've made grindstones. I and well, that's weird. Me. Why is there no chat when I need it? Um. What else am I going to make then? Fletching table needs flint. Have I got any flint? No. No flint. Any up there? No, no flint. Hmm. But that's poop, isn't it? Where have I got? What else am I going to make? What else am I going to make? A blast furnace. I've got enough cobble in my inventory to do that. I think you need iron for a blast furnace as well. <clears throat> I don't want to make another one of those, do I? Furnace. Blast furnace. Oh, I've got too much inventory in my in my hands again. Always carrying too much stuff. 
I want the spruce planks, I want the spruce, I need the glass, I need the stone, I need all the things. Put them in there for now. Uh, wall, don't need wall. Wall up there. I've got eight wall. Why am I going to get more wall if I don't need wall? Good dirt. Right, e get beds, slabs, what do I want? Um, composter. Composter, right. We've got one, two, iron. Any Anyone got any iron? Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron? No. Why have we not got iron? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take this one. I don't know why I can't get grindstone to come up. But I'm going to take it with me anyway. That'll do. Beds, them, stuff. think that's all I need. Ah, trapdoors. Gonna need trapdoors. Have we got any trapdoors? 25 trapdoors. That's plenty. Plenty. There we go. Can you spawn on trapdoors? Because trapdoors around the outside edge would look pretty cool on the glass. Right, so, let's put the blue bed in the middle. The brown bed there, and the red bed there. There we go, that's their free workstations. These are gonna need to be covered up. So, yeah, that's that. Right, now how do you do the next bit? Because the free workstations have got to be accessible, haven't they? I think you put them all three in a row here. Is that right? Pretty certain that's how they were done. Like so. And then the grindstone needs to go in there. Now the villagers need to be here. Panicking looking in this direction as to where the zombie is. Thing is they can jump out of bed onto... Ah, oh, they can probably jump out of bed onto that as well. Could be an issue. might have to build this up and around so they can't spawn inside it now how is it they did it I'm sure there was a was there a block there a block there I'm trying to figure out because <clears throat> I know there were basically four zombies got me four blocks away I believe. One, two. If I remember how I did this. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I can't remember. I'm gonna to have to go into my um my redstone board and have a look. Hello. Alright, yeah, so basically there's an empty space with a trapdoor in it. I built it backwards, that's why. Yeah, because this bit's where they're looking to go. I don't know how you got in there. You've spawned on top of something, haven't you? Um, 
Yeah, so the zombie needs to be on the side where the beds are. And then we just make that like triangular thing there. Okay. And we'll do that. So let's grab this stuff back. put the beds down in the right place. So one there, one there, and one there. Yeah, and then the tall station goes at the back here and the zombie, the, they stand over here like that. Uh, let's have I knew I should have drawn this out. It would have been easier for me to just draw it out so I knew what I was doing and then I can remember every time. That well, was a terrible idea. I will sort myself out. Bring the other world up. Like so. Oh, where did that go? Put that up there like that. Game and tab back over here. There we go. Right. So, uh, where's my trapdoors? Well, that's not where I wanted the trapdoor. Like that, I think. Was it one height? No, it's one. They're one height. Should we put it out of glass? Let's build it out of glass. Then the trap door wants to go on top like that and break that glass there. Because then the pretty certain that's how the villagers then see the zombie through here because their eye line's a bit lower. <coughs> And then we've got to make it so that the villagers can't get on there. That'll do. This is where their workstation is going to be. And yeah, I think what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take this, as much as this wood looks nice like that, I'm going to make this glass. Or should I just make it? I might make it wooden blocks to start with. And then put the glass on top of it. Actually, cheat and put these down instead. And I'll just nick this bed while I'm here. just can't get out of this. There. And then we're going to put one workstation there. One workstation there. And then we need a little glass
No, that's wrong. These, these go above the bed. Which blocks them in. That's right. So we put... That above there. Where's the loom? The loom above that. So the only places the villagers can stand are on the beds. Basically. And get scared by the zombie. I think that's too high up. I think that trapdoor needs to be lower. I didn't need to do that because it needs to be. Oh yeah, it needs to be. Un oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put down there. Break that one. Get the trap doors and put it underneath. There we go. That's that's above their eye line. They can see that now. I can always move that down if I want to make it look like that. Okay, now we need a because <clears throat> that needs to be a viable place they can stand. And we need the tool underneath this one. Which means they can get to that then. Just get a little bit weird there like that. They can't get out. Yep, they're pretty much stuck in here and they can see the zombie over there when he comes along. Cool. And they've got one space there that they can stand. But it should stop the iron golems from being out spawn in there. That's supposed to be how it works. <clears throat> and then what I want to do is I want to use the trap doors round. Can't actually get out my own prison now. Nope, can't do that. So I'm going to put a temporary block there so I can get out. Get out. Uh, do I need that block? I don't need that glass block there. What I want to do is this. Or like make it look like a bit of a barrel edge and the glass you might be able to see so I suppose it might look a bit weird but that could go they could not there they're like that cute just gets a little bit of a weird shape going on it If I'm lucky, what I can do is punk these on the outer edge. It's not easy to do when you can't see the glass. I didn't mean to do that. Oops, lost that one. it look like it's got a little edge around it now and these are like invisible not 
too bad. That should be more than enough room for the, the iron columns to get through there. Oh, hey there, iceberg. Sorry, I was so in, so intense looking at what I was doing. I didn't see you there in chat. Oh dear, I could put that in the wrong place. Hey, mum, is it? I really, I have to go really soon. That's no problem. It's just really nice of you to pop by and just say hi. Very kind of you. Okay, we're making a new iron farm. So we're making a platform up here, which I'm hoping is spawn proof for the villagers. So that they, um, I think this will, Ooh. no, I'm underneath it. I don't want to be underneath, no. I don't want to be underneath. Maybe I can put that one down and can I jump to that? Woohoo! I did. I uh, just can't get in. I don't want to make this bit look. Do I want to make that bit look bigger around the sides there? Look at that bit there. Um, it'll, it'll do for now. I think what I'll do is I'll just leave it and I'll come back to that. So the next bit I've got to do is I've got to go out that way and build. Yeah, because I want these in here as well. That's the glass edge there. I want them. Want them like that. Not like that. Comesy back. Oh, you just get too far away and then you can't stand on the dumb damn thing. Aha. Good skills. We use the skills. The power of the Minecraft. There we go, so I need some more trapdoors. Now hey ah ha ah missed. Uh let's put this down here for now. Can I make some more trapdoors please, game? 12 would be lovely, thank you very much. So what are you up to today, Iceberg? Okay, missed that completely. Uh, I'll just, like, nope, that's the wrong thing. I want one of these. There we go, thank you. No. I'm going to end up falling down the hole again in a minute. That one there. One there. One there. There we go, look at a little, little, little hole. Oops, not break the one I'm standing on. Awesome. I'll put some of these around the outside, so I might put them on the underside of the glass and around the outsides of the glass. It looks like it's got like a barrel effect around it. I know that looks a bit weird floating up there, but not many people are going to come up here and see that. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is go around here and build out to... Yeah, build out that bit where the zombie's going to go. But I first need to sleep.
and I can't access the bed in there now. So let's run over here and find the bed. And then I can drink some of my coffee. Oops! Did not die, so did not die. I hear zombies. Oh, that was good coffee. Oh, I enjoyed that. Right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Just magically run through a lead. <clears throat> How did it decapitate me in the process? I don't know. Right, have I got everything on me that I think I need? I think I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with glass. Because I need to be able to get across there. So this is one block. Two. Three. I'm trying to remember how many I need out. Got one, two, three, four. The villagers are there behind that one. Um, I can't remember. Where's my bit of paper? I made a model of this. Oh, he needs to be on the fourth block, looking at this one. Oh! Yeah, he needs to be four blocks. The wall block, it counts as one. We've got the bed, and then we've got one, two, three, four, and the zombie's on the fifth. Okay, so this is the wall block, so that counts counts as one, two, three, four, and then the zombie stands on the fifth block. So he'd be standing out here, but he needs to be at the same height as the villagers eyes so I need another couple on top of this think yeah so he needs to be standing on this block so let's give him a wooden block to stand on And I don't want to... I'm scared if I stand on that one and break it, because I think... Yeah, that's the last one. Oops! Oh, bye. So we've got glass there. So can I... Have I got any more glass? Yeah. And then I'm going to put some bits around this to make it look like it's structured. Zombie's got to stand on that one, which means we've got to have a block in front of it. Have I run out of glass? I have run out of glass. Let's creep back around the edge here. I'm going to get some more glass, because it's the only way to stop the iron golems spawning. Oh! 
Oh, hey there, Mr. Silly. Nice to have you in chat. I do, do apologise. I'm just um, texting Halo at the moment. She's just about to finish work. So how are you doing, Mr. Silly? <clears throat> yeah, have you been up to? There's a zombie somewhere. Where is he? No, he's not up there. I can hear him. Oh, I know why. It's because I've got um, my other screen open. Ha ha ha! Oh dear. What a dork. I'm walking around going, why is it? Why can I hear a zombie? And I've got the other screen open with my redstone world, with my copy of this build open. You're good. Just started simulation of hardcore in bedrock. Ooh. Are you, are you playing hardcore in Windows then? Is that is that what you're saying? You have to explain to me because um, you know I'm not always you know that clever at understanding what people are telling me. Right, so uh, zombie's going to go in there. So zombie needs to go. I've really made this difficult to work on here. Right, let's use the scaffolding. So, zombie will stand there. We don't have hardcore on bedrock, so it's hard mode world that I will destroy once I'm dead. Oh, okay. Ah, I see what you mean by simulating it. You're playing by the rules, so to speak. Hi, Panda. Good to have you back. Right, so we have block there. Exactly. I see. I the smarts kicked in eventually. Right. So um, block there. Um, actually, I could just do it like. Brain hurting, trying to understand how to make this look pretty and build at the same time. Not easy. Zombie gonna go in hole there. And then I'm gonna build spruce trap doors. I hate this not being able to see where I'm working. It's just a little bit scary. You feel like you're about to fall off any minute. You're sort of like walking around on invisible blocks. Can I? I wonder if I can get that zombie in there. Whether that half block will. Mm. I wonder if that half block will make a difference. Or if I put the trap. Ah, oh, I know what I do. I put the trapdoor on the outside of this. Break the glass. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, I didn't want to go down, up. Ah. Game. Build how I want. Thank you. Um, now, I want to... Um, eh. I didn't need that there, did I? No, that can go away. Put block in there. Get trapdoor. Trapdoor. No, I'm now... Like so. There we go. It looks like he's going to be standing in there then. 
What's that doing down? Put that back. Uh -huh. ah. There we go. Zombie will stand in here. He's trapped in by these blocks. And he can't get any further closer than that. Lurk matters. I'm going to just lurk. Yeah, no problem. More than happy for you to lurk. So that's not bad, um, the zombie can't get out of there so now what I need is trap doors and a slab above his head. This is handy because I can actually get out now. So let's put, he, the zombie is going to be too high so he needs to go in there and then if I put a, a slab there, he then can't get burnt by the sun. And then I can use a trapdoor under there. Yeah, because I can't get in under there, then I've got to crouch to get in there. Still very tempted to like put the, the same design along the back here. I think I will actually. I don't know whether the, the zombie's gonna get burnt by the sunlight, that's the only thing. Why can't I place that trapdoor there? Oh, there we go. Because I'm in the wrong place. I can always put like a um, an invisible block up there so he can't see. And I need more trapdoors. Oh no, I need to go make more trapdoors. And I need to sleep. Which I have only just really noticed and there's no beds up here that I can get to. So I've got to run all the way back over there. Oh, pick my bits up. I have smite sword. You shall die in two hits. Got super sword now. Wee! Into bed. Look at that. Jumps into bed. Swan dive in. I'll walk away from the creeper because um, he'll just die. I'll be out of range of him, hopefully. Mr. McCree! How jolly good of you to see you. I'm also loving the fact you're blue in my chat today. It's a very nice colour. You probably can't see that. It's probably something completely different in your chat. We are working on a new iron farm. Hopefully one that works this time and, and keeps working. Around here trying to build the zombie chamber. I think I've got done now, so I just need to get a zombie in here. I went all the way down there and I didn't make any more trapdoors, did I? Look, there's a creeper down there. He's just waiting for me to go down there, isn't he? Right. Let's go and make uh, some trapdoors. I think, I think I've got enough wood here. I can actually do them while I'm here. There we go. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. I'll have a carrot. So what are you up to today, Mr. McCree? I'm calling you Mr. McCree. I have no idea whether you are a Mr. or a Mrs. So I do apologise for being stereotypical. M. Cree. Please let me know. So I can be uh, correct. I just think Mr. McCree sounds really good. It sounds like some sort of like cartoon character. Like Mr. Magoo or something like that. 
I know. I get. I get it all. I get all the names wrong. Mr. McCree and Salad Potato. Yep. I'm a bunny. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm totally, totally with you now. Um. Oh yeah, I got to do it. I could have got in the bed this way. Hang on a minute. I've designed something wrong here. That's too low. Oh. How did I not spot that the first time? Okay. Okay. Let's 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 try again. So, Mr. McCree is actually a bunny. Is that where I need it? Do I need it there? Yeah, I do want it on the third block up, don't I? Getting very confused with zombies and the height of zombies and all sorts of things here. Oop! Right, that'll do. That'll come out of there like that. And where's the trapdoors gone? No, that's not a trapdoor. Did that look like a trapdoor? No, it's not a trapdoor. That's a, that's a trapdoor. And that's better. Because zombie will be in here going, Oh, I want to kill them. And his eyes will keep, the eye line keeps getting broken. I don't understand that. Like an actual rabbit? Not, not actually. Yeah, there could, there could literally be a, a rabbit. What's wrong, what's wrong with that? How, how do we know? Oh, that's interesting. They can get out that way. How can the zombie get out? I didn't build that high enough, did I? I've got more glass. Yeah, I'm going to need one there. And one there so that the zombie can't get out the hole. Trap door. Eh. No, no, not how one built. Do not build. Oh, want to build trapdoor on side like so, and go up because I want it to connect to there. That way, it looks like it's part of the structure. Oh, now I've trapped myself. Oh my god, this is going to be dangerous. Ah! Eh. Edges. Like so. Right, then. Zombie comes in here. Zombie now can't get out. He's stuck inside glass, which we can't see from down below. He looks like he's in some little hut. Cool. That should work. That goes that 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 break these. Right, now. Now have a floating thing, which I now need to make it look like less of a thing. I could just put it on a really big post, couldn't I? Really big log post, and, the and then a bit of like, oh yeah, put a fence across there. That would work. All right, let's break them. And... And those. This is glass, which will stop stuff spawning on it anyway. I didn't really need glass there, I don't think. But, well, there we go, it's there now. Uh, right, big, big tree thing. Or should I use scaffolding? It doesn't look strong enough that it would need scaffolding, does it? it we, we, I think we need some proper trees. So what are you all up to then, guys? Look, there's a workbench here. Look, look. Ah! Excuse me! Creeping up on people like that. Don't do that. So bad. How much durability have I got on that? Uh, two. Oh, okay. It's not very much. Trees. Right. Trees. Um. How high is that? Oh, 20, 30 blocks? Something like that? Gonna work on my bike later this evening or tomorrow. Ooh! 
Tell me. Tell me more about your bike. Are we talking pedal bike or are we talking motorbike? Because quite often in the UK we refer to oh, my bike as like your motorbike. Interested. You're gonna go and eat some carrots. Okay. You you be careful there. And don't get the little fluffy bits of um greenery on the top up your nose or anything. Okay? Be, you know, just make you sneeze loads. <clears throat> oh my what 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 wow whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the stream. You have... Hang on. Let's have a look. I have two A 2017 R1s. You mean as in Yamaha R1? And a YZF450 dirt bike. Not sure what they look like, but I know of. The R1 needs some work. Sir... Oh my word! Salad potato, put it there, man. Nice bikes. I'm seriously impressed. You got two of them. <clears throat> oh, you have. Oh, sorry, you have one R1 and the YZF450. Oh, very nice. So I am a biker myself. <clears throat> I say that, but my bikes have been, you know, not exactly the most exciting ones. Two R1s! Man! What does Salad Panda do? Salad Panda must have a good job. Or you've bought ones that are going to need, like, reverb, rework or something on them. I don't know. Um, oh, I've totally lost my train of thought now. What was I going to go and do next? Oh, yeah, loads of trees. So I passed my bike test, oh, let's think, probably eight, maybe 10 years ago. Is it really as long as that? Might have been. Let me think, uh, 2012, so eight years when I got my bike license. Um, and I actually started riding a scooter just before that, a little 50cc scooter. Primarily because I just wanted to be able to get to work and save money on petrol and stuff. So I was driving a little 50cc scooter just to see what it was like. And then after that, I got a Honda CG125. A 27... Uh, yeah... What year was that? That wasn't that old. Can't remember. Might have been an 09 plate, something like that, I think. Oh, you're a graphics designer. Ooh. Oh, you need to have a chat with Halo. Halo wants is um, a budding graphic artist designer person. And um, she's really looking to kickstart her career. And get into it so you need to have a chat with her i need to get used to talking to each other because she's like really excited about doing stuff and she wants to know what tools to use and all that sort of thing anyway back to bikes um so i had a little cg125 which i had for probably about four or five years and after that i got a what did i get Oh yeah, I got the V-Strom. I got a Suzuki V-Strom because I moved jobs in 2013 and I got a Suzuki V-Strom which was pretty nice to be honest. It was a nice bike. Um, wasn't what I was going for at the time. It was actually after... Why can't I line myself up? I'm sure it's this one. It was actually after a BMW what I really wanted. Build that out to there and if I'm oh I know what I do. Put that there. 
like so. And then I'll just chop this off and fall down. Ah! Oops. Let's have a look, see how that looks. Oh, I need to put one underneath. Yeah, I got a, a Suzuki v strong which is a 7650, 750, something like that. I can't remember now. Um, I was quite pleased with it. It was okay. Didn't have the much feel on the front end, I found. And within a year of having it, because I was riding in all weathers, I basically lost it on an icy patch and dropped it. And it, to be honest, it basically frightened me and put me off, not put me off riding, but put me off riding in bad weather. Oh no, it's timed you out. b Storm is such a tall bite. Um, Posting a link? How on earth did it think v Strong? I think it might be because you put a dot in it or something. Ooh, don't know. That's weird. It's alright, I can still see your messages. The busted bike is turning into a trek bike. I was invited to a trek day to ride the Yamaha M1. It's mental. Wow. Um, yeah, so the v Storm is like a big bike, Tory bike, uh, it's quite tall, yeah, I quite liked it, um, you feel solid and safe, but I just had no front end feel to it, and that was my problem, and it just put me off, so what I did was I, I stopped riding for a couple of years, and then I went to a... What on earth did I? Uh, a CBF 500? It looks a bit like a, it's like a naked bike, Honda. Uh, not the 500, the 250. CBF 250. And I used that to go backwards and forwards to work. And I was living in locally again, so it wasn't too much problem with the distance. And then, oh, what was it? Was it last, was it last February? Or the February before. Yeah, but it basically got stolen from outside my house. So my bike got stolen and I got, they wrecked it. They nicked all the stuff off it. Uh, and basically left it as a broken body in a field somewhere. It was found the next morning after I reported it. And um, that was it. I, was, I haven't had a bike since. I've not been able to afford one. But what I'm hoping to do is once me and Halo have got a house, I want to start uh, saving up to get another bike. Um, isn't scooter thieves an issue in the UK? Yeah, scooters are fairly easy to nick. And to be honest, a, a, a Honda 250 is not that heavy a bike. It wasn't that hard for them to pick it up and run away with it. So it's only like 110 kilos. So it's not like massive, but it had chain lock on it, disc lock, the whole lot. But yeah, they still nicked it. Might change that to um, spruce wood, not spruce wood, acacia wood, because the grey might look quite a nice contrast to that. Right, I'm going to see if I can get some zombies and some villagers. I need a roof over the top for the villagers as well. What have we got in the way of materials? We've got a few materials. Go up and have a look. So yeah, so my dream bike is to have a CG1200 BMW. Primarily because me and Halo want to do tours, go on holidays, and go like trekking around. And it just looks like an awesome bike to ride in a lot more weather. And uh, be just sort of a bit more grown up. I'm not a racy type person. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I hope I get it as well. You love your street bikes, or perhaps people call it a leader bike. Yeah, street bikes. Yeah, I like that sort of naked bike, not fairings type thing. I'm, 
I'm 48. I'm not really a sort. I know some people are like lent over their bikes and everything, but that's quite. It's a bit of work to do that. It's not the most exciting thing to do. Why can I never get these things to go up? They're a real pain to climb up once you're on top of them. There we go. Right, I can get in here again now. Uh, let's break that out. We don't need that. So that's, yeah, that's the eyeline of where the, the zombie and the villagers are going to see. So, we need three villagers and a zombie. But I also need a roof on top of this thing. So I'm just debating how to do that. Halo wants to get a bike as well. We've been to um, a few bike shows and um, she's uh, pretty keen on getting her bike license as well. So that we can, um, that's one of the things we joke about, you know, need a house so that we can um, get a bike, somewhere to store it. Build the roof across here. Like so. I think the roof needs to be higher than this for lightning strikes. So I might just have to repair it if things go wrong. That should give him a bit of a roof. Although it doesn't look like anything's attached to it, but that's just going to have to be tough for now. Um, can I get out of here again now? Why do I always manage to like trap myself inside stuff? I'm such a dork when it comes to building. I'm like, I know, let's just get myself trapped inside it so I can't get out again. Um, I had my bike in my house, uh, didn't have a garage at the time, but the door was wide enough. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think Halo might actually even let me do that. Had my fair share of falls though, two years ago, had a bad accident, nothing left of the bike. The rim was literally in half, wow. Only thing I could salvage was the rear sprocket, wow. Good bike to learn on, in my opinion, is the Honda. Yeah, the Hondas are, are pretty good. They're, they've got a lot of feedback. My little CG125 I had. Oh my God, I used to ride that in some bad conditions. I had some Bridgestone tyres on the front of it. That little thing used to s squim around and squirm and all sorts of things. But the fact that it did that just meant that you got loads of fill from the bike and you knew exactly what it was doing. I don't know why I came all the way over here to make these, but there we go. Right, so let's do them. I can finish the roof. And I will also put some glass around the out, some of this around the outside. So let's make a whole big bucket load of these. I think I said I didn't want that. You can go and play in the water. There we go. Ooh, it's getting dark again. Let's get up there and I'll use one of the beds that are up there. <coughs> Halo's definitely into the, the sports bikes, those. You'll, you'll be her new best friend if you tell her that's the sort of bikes you've got. Oh, it's an ideal little position to get in. Uh, can I sleep in this bed? You don't own a car to ride rain or sun. It's a it's a challenging environment. 
riding a bike like that. Um, it certainly makes you um, more appreciative of things and in a strange way even makes you appreciative of life because you're like thinking about what's going on and much more observant as a as a as a driver bye i need to go do bunny stuff have a nice day stream okay no worries thank you for coming in okay right um, got a roof on that, got that, got that. I was going to put stuff around the outside now, wasn't I? So I'll leave that there for now. Oh, I've got plenty of these, that's good. So we're going to go up. Where did he come from? Was he the same one I shot earlier? Where'd you go? You fall down the hole. Man. Right, I'm just going to kill this other one that I've got running. Because the, the, the zombie noise is annoying me in the background there. There we go. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is build a, like a an underside wall on this. Oh, way too high up. Probably get away with being a lot lower down. Oh, I could just jump up and do these. There was me thinking they were going to be a long way up. Not a creeper here next to me, is there? No, that's a hole though. Car jumping a red light. It's funny as how many statistics I hear that oh you know 26% of all accidents involve a motorbike. And then you actually look at what happened involving the accident and so many of them actually also included a car. And how many of them were actually the fault of the motorcyclist? Quite a few. You know, it's a lot of the time it's car drivers not seeing the bike. And I think people miss that as to Oi! Who did that? Go away, nasty person, trying to ambush me from under there. I know your game. Okay, uh, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. To be fair, bikes are hard to hear. You only really hear them when they are right next to you. But most people need to actually look and observe. I think that's the key thing, is that there's so many people who don't observe. I think it's easy for people to say, oh yeah, but bikes need to be easier to be seen. And... Maybe I'm just too much of a bike. I've been too much of a bike rider for too long. <laughs> I'm like, I whinge about this. But it's like, well, you know, everyone's responsible for for looking. As much as you're on a bike, you're also responsible for making sure you're not going to get hit by anyone or anything as well.
Everyone is responsible for making sure the roads are safe. Some bikers are stupid. I definitely agree with that. There are some absolute nutcase riders out there. And they give the sensible riders a really bad name. Because of the way they carry on. Which is not good. Right, so now I've got that all the way around the edge. What I'm planning to do... I don't know if I've got enough bamboo to do this. Is put these round the edge like so. Oh, that's the point. Can't put one there. Eh. Oh, that actually worked. I didn't think that was going to work then. it because I'm too close to the edge. That way we've got these glass blocks. I may be coming back at some point and actually getting rid of all of these trapdoors when I find out that iron golems decide to spawn on the edge of trapdoors. I was sort of fairly convinced they can't. But I guess I'm going to find out. And I need to go and get some more trapdoors now. Again. Recycle my bamboo stuff. I've got enough wood to make any more. No, oh, no, I'm a bit low on the old wood as well. Ah, we're getting there. Getting there slowly. Let's have a look at the times. So nearly half past 12. I'm going to have to go and have some lunch soon. Where am I going? Trees are this way. them out there. Um, might take out some of these trees. Slowly destroying the forest. <laughs> it's a good job that in this Minecraft world there is an awful large amount of... Do you have a Discord channel? Yes, I do. So if you type uh, exclamation mark Discord in chat <clears throat> you will be given the link oh look at that works straight away fantastic so yeah please come over um, we've got the other guys come in there and have a chat as well really need to advertise stuff like my Discord more often But yeah, come in, have a chat, show us some pictures. I'll be, I'll be interested to see. Or you can send them directly to me. Always an option. Right, let's have a few more of them. Right, where do I get up? We've also got a a subs only area on the discord I'm going to sell the channel a bit now um, so the idea is is that we're going to get some more sub only features for people because I want to start a server where people can play on and things like that at some point Sort of that bit of giving back, do some like competitions. Obviously, that all relies on getting more subscribers. Where's the way up? In the corner. 
Oh, that one. That one. Right, let's collect them. Looks like it's getting dark again. But yeah, so we're going to be expanding for the Minecrafty things. Making it more fun. Not just really nice and quiet like I am today. Right, let's do it from that one. That over the water. Oh no! That was lucky. Gonna get zombies and all sorts now coming out. there we've got a new name in chat uh, I can't see your message right now I'm coming over in your sock sounds like a bot well if if he can say salad um, potato then we know he's a real person how's that Hello, how are you doing? I have watched your Mon PJC Twitch channel. Sounds like a bot. Yep. I love your stream, blah, 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 blah. I'm about to design panels, overlays, face cam, and offline screen for your streaming. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, that's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing that a little robot could do something like that. Um, check out my, oh, oh, just, that's just really nice. Oops! Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh yes, it, it would appear that I just banned them. Oh well. Oh. That may be in the... I just like axed them. Oh well, okay. No hard hardship. At least I got another viewer in chat for a moment then. And they were chatting. <laughs> That becomes so annoying. It's the first time I've actually seen it in chat. I mean, I realise they're obviously a thing out there, but, you know, it's the first time I've actually seen it happen. I want to get the surroundings of this finished before I go offline. Uh, let's take this one out. Probably lost loads up there, didn't I? Gonna send me some images. Ooh cool, right, got those. Uh let's get up here. And let's put a couple out that way and Can't remember which way around. I think I did it that way on the other side. Nearly gone all the way around. Pretty much like in the old scaffold block. Coming in very useful. It's becoming a, a definitely a good tool to have now. Thank you. I will check them out. Um, I didn't need to go that far. Nearly. Oh, just can't quite reach the rest. Oh, I'm just going to knock these down. It's 
funny actually, it's not the bamboo that you get short of, it's the string. But then, I have been using wool. Which, um, which one is my daily? Yellow is the one I fixed. Ah, for track, and the blue is pretty obvious. Ah, okay. I'm definitely going to have a look after the stream. I'm definitely a bikey person. I'm not very good at knowing the names of the different bikes, to be honest. That's that's probably my biggest thing. I'm just not being around that much. Oh man, look, only one trap, one trap door. All I needed. There we go. Up we go. Can I reach it? Come on. Yep. Woohoo. Right, think. Think, I'm done. Collect my scaffolding. go dooby dooby do so hopefully from the outside it should just look like a like a yeah it's got like a, a perimeter bucket I mean you can see the glass a little bit up there and that it does look structural it does look like it's uh, designed to actually do something it needs I mean it's very basic at the moment it needs some bits on it to look better there we go so what we're going to do is add water in here and I need to get villagers and zombies up here but for now as it's half past 12 and I've been streaming for two hour two and a half hours I need to go and get some lunch I need to sort out my shopping and my household chores now so I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. I will go and check out those photos in a minute and see what you've sent me there. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's stream. I don't know what time tomorrow's stream is going to be. I think it's going to be an evening one. So make sure you keep your eyes open and see what comes up in channel next. Uh, you're in Discord, so you'll also be able to see notifications in there of what I'm planning to do. So thanks very much and see you later. Bye.